an emergency box from the old days, when you needed to pack a punch to survive. Wow, bet that nut makes a tight fist. That's an odd thing, don't you think? Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? life. That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxanol Corporation made this place and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Well, small ones. Places like this were cheap back in those days and there was plenty of space. Get done with one place, you just build another. 
There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. Even forests don't last forever. This corner of the world is called Bricktown. Let's see. Never thought I'd see a... You need to get the pegs lined up to get the clothes soaker rolling. Just a few moves left. Make them count. You really put a spin on it. Breathe a little lighter now that day's returning. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the underyard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxanol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here, big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. They can carry you anywhere you like. Well, anywhere that they go to, and then you can leg it from there. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open.
tribe's always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprockets. going to leave a mark. It's starting to add up. This box once tailed a chugga chug. Now it's just off track. Hey, nice shot. Cutting edge. Bumper Bonkers busy ram banging the door. This is your chance. Nothing's more important right now than this. Almost there, personal. Yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. Let's see.
It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. What doesn't kill you? I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Why, why, not dark. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. He hopes you remember that one time he taught you to upcycle and hopes you've had some use for it over the years. Gizmo says he also has re-memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. He understands history made Loopa Loopin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo encourages that. You Fan that flame! Wait, no! Uh, bright light blinds! It's, it's dangerous! I've got all the cold sick burns you need, Dark. Oh, do you have to insult me over this? I don't have to, but I want to. <laughs> Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you here. <laughs> Hard to believe. <laughs> Grateful to you for coming back and doing your. <laughs> Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seem so centered and so... But that's not important. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present. And where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mecton, starting with the old. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mecton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Puff. It's the part of the land that suffered most from the apocalypse. It's deprived of oxygen, making it next to impossible for anything but creatures that were most contorted by the contamination.
heroes make for the best stories. It's up to you if you want to be one. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. That's the leftover you're looking for. Place to be dizzy. It feels like an ancient dungeon down here. Disgusting. Biohazard. Just gross. You'd think this place would be crawling with worms. Easy does it.
Even the sound seems sharper here. Nothing like a free ride. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun, and a gathering net, but no armor. No he made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he means the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the Jumbo Puff. The best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, it's a little fight. His Mekton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? Feels lonely here. Even the air is gone.
might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. Go to a place like this to get a proper meal back in the old world. night wrap around you. That'll pay off. Be sure to buckle your safety farmers. There's a place and time for everything, but for that sit scenario, it's already come and gone.
nothing behind you. Feel that power. Take matters back into your own hands. The world is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Gross. This place stinks. Everyone's going to hear you coming. Imagine that. Subtle it is not. Bang Shelter 7B is still there, open and ready to shelter. Itchy trigger finger. You can smell the must down here.
Seems like a peculiar item. Should have gone for a bigger size. Now, this is the way to travel. This is no way to live, but keep at it anyhow.
This place is called Puff Duff Bluff. Boom bangs around here. Boom job. Shoe and go, shoe on. This little fellow feels the world's on the edge of blowing itself up. He feels it's inspiring to see someone out there still banging away at it. Says he makes splody bits of all kinds. High demand these days. Thinks you've built yourself up into a walking arsenal. He can't wait to see what you do with all that gun power. Save the world or help it go kaboom. Says that even boom makers can do some good if they make the right things explode. Just think about the tinks you can destroy with earth-shattering kabooms. What happens next depends on what you blow up. Says that life's kind of like a fuse. Sometimes it does just what you expect, and other times it catches you by surprise. Be careful with what you light up. Wonders what you would do to put that bang back in the bomb. Thought the world was kaboomed, but it looks like something might be growing in its crater. Wonders why you put so much work into making things safer. Can't see why you'd join up with the myriad. They go around cutting his fuses short. Got to test things somehow, doesn't he? But enough about you. Says his Muma Grandiosa taught him the secret source of making ammunition. And now that there's an endless need for bangs, business is booming. He was born during the baby boom back in the days, and he was so interested in the family business. He'll take the family secret with him to the grave, which could be any day now, with the world ending and all. Says they really... Of course he doesn't want it, but if the world goes under, he hopes it goes with a bang. He has enough sulfur, but he can never get too much charcoal, so if you'll get it, glad you're willing to bite on that particular bullet. Boom says he likes you. You're bang on. Boom needs more charcoal for his sulfur and saltpeter gunpowder. Boom says he likes you. You're bang on. Hakin little tofu muck. 